What is up guys, today I'm going to give you a review of World War Z the movie and what it had to do with the book, how the book was implemented in uh, by uh, Max Brooks. Now anyway, if you haven't seen the movie, I advise you going because you're going to like it. You're not going to like it if you, if you read the book. Uh, you know, basically this movie was very, how would you say, it was kind of rushed but at the, at the other end it had like, you know, it's comical scenes. It was funny. Basically it's Brad Pitt. A uh, former UN special operations agent who is who retired to be with his family, but of course the apocalypse happens. He's in Philadelphia, and everything just goes downhill. And you know he basically he's just going around the world trying to find a way to solve this whole dilemma. Uh, now, what uh, really annoyed me about this movie was you know the comical areas that it had. You know, basically these zombies are supposed to frighten the hell out of you. And you know you're you're in the movie theater and everyone's laughing at them, you know you have there's a scene where the zombies are just you know they're just <laughs> sorry for the face they're just you know they're just standing there trying to act creepy as hell, and everyone's laughing. For me, I was laughing too. They looked really idiotic, and I was expecting you know something to scare the hell out of me because when reading this book, I was scared. You know just reading the accounts of people. Yeah, overall, Brad Pitt did a great kick-ass job. The scarf and the hairdo, it won me. <laughs> the guy, I don't know, if, can I say the guy has a style? Anyway, I advise you to click away now. Oh, I give this book, the movie, a 7 out of 10. You know, the graphics and the visual dimensions that it had were fantastic. Now, this is where I want you to click away because I'm going to give some spoilers. For the people who read the book, you're going to hate this. Uh, you're really going to hate this, you know, because going into the movie, I knew that it was not going to have accounts. It's going to be Brad Pitt. Trying to solve, you know, solve the problem and save the world. Basically, what I didn't like was the zombies. You know, they made them so genetically hyped up. You know, they were fast as hell. And you know, one second you'll see the zombie right there, and the second he's on your ass trying to kick your ass <laughs> and eat it, of course. Uh, in the book, you know, they were slow, walking, not that smart. But here, they're, you know, they're very intelligent, and it really bothered me because, you know, you see zombies are dead. They're not supposed to be that smart. <laughs> And, you know, it had nothing to do with the book. Not at all, you know. They're in the, they're, there's the part where they're in a plane and, you know, they're going to the Middle East and there's the explosion of, I'm guessing, which was supposed to be Iran and Pakistan where they nuke uh, the zombies and they end up exterminating each other. Uh, another thing that they did get was the Jerusalem Wall, which was very kick-ass, how Israel already planned this out and they were letting out, they were letting in everyone, which really got my attention and I really did like like I said before, if you didn't see this movie, I mean, if you did not see this book, read it, you're going to like this movie. But Max Brooks' World War Z, An Oral History of the Zombie War, was a very complex and beautiful book that really kept me entertained. I finished this book in one sitting, which means I finished it from page one to page 400 and something in just that one time. I never stopped reading it. you know. But once Hollywood got its rapid ha fangs into this complex books, it turned into a parody, you know, a parody of the book, and it was really sad, really sad. I got out of the movie, and I was just pissed. I was like, damn it, more than damn it, trust me. I was I was beyond raged by the fact of it. The book, of course, kicks ass. It's always the book that's better, and it's always a movie that goes downwards. Honestly, if you have not read this book and you saw this movie, read the book. You're going to love it. Anyway, I give this book a 10 out of 10, but with the movie, you know, the movie itself, from reading this book, I give it a 7 out of, not even a 7, <laughs> I'm kidding myself, a 3 out of 10, it's poor, very, I was really upset. I don't know guys, thank you for watching, my name is Kekko365, and you want me to do more reviews, write on and tell me. Thank you, and have a nice day.